Hello, welcome to my channel. Let's use some few minutes to provide an answer to these decimal fractions. We have to express the decimal fractions as a fraction in its lowest term. Meaning we want to write them as a common fraction or a proper fraction. Now, one thing we have to know is that one, we have to identify how many decimal places are involved. How many decimal places? That is one. Two, each decimal place is taken as well, 10 exponent. So if I have one decimal place, it means it's going to be 10 exponent 1. If there are two decimal places, it means become 10 exponent what? 2. That is the, the, the second step. First step, identify the number of decimal places. Second step, each of the decimal places is going to be an exponent of 10. The third step is that you divide the number that you have without the decimal point by the 10 exponent or the exponent of 10 that you have. So in this particular case, how many decimal places do I have? I have 1, 2. There are 2 decimal places. So I have 2, meaning I'll be using 10 exponent 2 as my denominator, meaning I'll be taking 25 divided by 10 exponent 2 and this can also be written as 25 over 100 so this is a common fraction form of this decimal fraction but we are to move to the lowest term meaning you find out if there is a common factor a number that can that is a common factor for both the numerator and the denominator and this we can see that if I divide the top by 25, the down by 25, 25 divided by 25 is 1. 100 divided by 25 is what? 4. So it means in its lowest term, 0 0.25 is just 1 over 4. All right. In this case, how many decimal places are you seeing? I believe you see one, two, three. There are three decimal places. So the power of 10 is going to be three. So right away, six, two, five, divided by a word. 10 exponent what? Three. Because there are three decimal places. So that gives us six, two, five, over thousand. This Six two five that is six hundred and twenty five divided by what one thousand. So this place also we need to find out if there is a common factor between the numerator and that of what the denominator. That could also be our twenty five. So we have six hundred and twenty five divided by twenty five. One thousand divided by 25 and that will give us this will be 5 times this give me this then 8 times 25 will give you that so this and this are the proper fraction form of this decimal fraction all right then finally how many decimal places we have one two three there are three decimal places and the number is going to be without a decimal point it will be 0 0.25 and we know a 0 before a number does not add a value to the number so we are only going to have our 25 over 10 exponent word 3 which can be written as 25 over 1000 so we look out for a common factor which in this case is still 25 so 25 divided by 25, 1000 divided by what? 25. So the top will be 1, the down will be what? 8. So in converting from decimal fraction to a proper fraction or to a common fraction, these are the steps involved. 1. Identify the decimal place. Let that number of decimal place become the exponent of 10. Then divide the number, the whole number itself, by that powers of 10. Then 
find the equivalent fraction of that and that will be all. all right, thank you for watching.